and uh, and Tapato Silva and Mayim Chamisa and all the support staff in the office because they really, really worked hard, you know, to get uh, the show to where it is. And uh, and my sincere thank you to you, Maria, Tapato, uh, Mayim, and others. And, and of course the amigos and, and all the other volunteers that uh, that do a lot of work behind the scenes. They have some heroes and heroines uh, of, uh, of, 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 uh, of Haifa. A big thank you to you. And of course, not uh, forgetting the, the incredible support that uh, we as a board of trustees have received from uh, various uh, board members. And, uh, and again, I have to sing out to a few individuals. Rob Monso is top of the list. and. Uh, and uh, Amanda from Pezold, unfortunately she's not here, together with her husband Heinrich, uh, they're away, and uh, one hopes that they'll be here before the end of Haifa. But we've got a, a recent uh, uh, appointee or, or, or member who's been robbed in to, to, to put in his, uh, his uh, you know, to send his weight to Haifa, and that's, uh, that's Rob Galbraith. Right. Welcome, Rob, and uh, we look forward to receiving all the support that I know we're gonna get from you. And uh, just one thing, I think we need to, I need to mention that uh, Patrick Rooney, who was one of the, of the founding trustees, uh, retired uh, sometime last year. I think he's had good innings. Uh, he was the, the only link that we had with the original board of trustees, which included, amongst others, Roy Pascal London. So a big thank you to Patrick Rooney for all the work that he did for Haifa since uh, inception. Um, and, and, and last but not least, uh, uh, the, the show would not really take off in the manner that it will take off without all the inputs that uh, that Manuel always puts into, into the whole thing. And uh, Manuel got no idea how much we treasure your continued involvement in Haifa as uh, not only the founding executive director, but also the artistic uh, director. Thank you very much, Manuel. But I think that's all I, I've got to say. I'd love to stand between you, the drinks, and the snacks. But, uh, but thanks a lot for your support, and we look forward to seeing you and others in large numbers as from, uh, from Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you so much for much. I'm also not going to keep you for the, from the drinks for very long. I want to say a few things. First of all, that everyone involved with Haifa feels incredibly excited and honoured to be at this point again, on the brink of presenting another really celebratory and somewhat miraculous festival. Um, it's an incredible achieve achievement, and it's happening because all of you decided that it needed to happen and could happen and should happen. And for that, we're enormously, enormously grateful. Um, we all know that this is a really significant time for this country on the brink of an election and after a major change in political landscape. That change was driven by people, and there are so many beautiful things in this country that are driven by people, and that most definitely includes Haifa. Um, and that begins with the Board of Trustees, with our incredibly energetic Chairman, which Masunda, thank you so much for everything that you do. It includes all of the corporate partners, the embassies, I see many embassies represented, and we're so grateful for your help and support. Um, the government agencies on whom we rely for support and permissions of different types. Of course, our amigos, our friends, our audience members, who we rely on in many, many different ways, from you know, providing us with wine occasionally and a hug, um, to much more specific, specific needs, and we're grateful to you all. Um, the people aspect of Haifa, and at this particular time, made us think about the theme in a new way. It was such an exciting opportunity to think anew about what this festival does and what it means. Haifa 2018 celebrates the capacity of each one of us to make a difference in our country and in our world. It acknowledges that we all count and that our individual and collective actions can really be transformative, whether that's in tiny little ways or in huge history-changing ways. And that's amazing and wonderful. So this year we count votes, we count challenges, we count hopes and dreams. We count blessings, we stand up to be counted in so many different ways, and we count the amazing creative opportunities that exist in this country in 2018. 
Um, I need to say something about the group of people, um, which has already mentioned them, the team of Haifa, this incredibly visionary, committed, wonderful group of people, led by Maria so brilliantly. We adore you, Maria, and we admire you enormously. Um, supported by the amazing Corinne Redgold, who never gets enough credit for the uh, extraordinary amount of work she gets through. Artis yes, the whole office staff, everyone that works during the festival, the artistic consultants who define what this uh, festival is. They are all beautiful visionaries, and if you have the opportunity to tell them so, please do this week. Um, they're all excited and totally overworked, but loving every second of it, as am I. Um, I think one of the things that has been most important this year, and continues to be important, is relying on the artists. Relying on the artists to help us shape what it is that we're doing. And those artists include the Zimbabwean artists who are the heart and soul of this festival, but also many international artists with whom I feel very fortunate to come into contact. I see many of them here, Sarah Elizabeth Charles, Jared Cherna, performing on Tuesday, James Blasco, the director of the opening show, um, visionaries and people who care and are curious. And that is a wonderful thing to be able to enjoy and be able to benefit from. Um, so many thanks to the artists. I hope you take many, many opportunities to meet them and talk to them and hear a little bit about what it is that particularly interests them about being in Zimbabwe and being at Haifa. Because I can tell you it ranges very widely from straightforward performances to educational projects to long-term collaborations with schools and other uh, existing institutions here. So I mentioned the artists. We have some magnificent artists performing with us today. Masa, we are so grateful to you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for braving that platform. <laughs> We're grateful for Zimbabwe College of Music you heard on your way in. There are many other artists you will encounter in the next half hour or so. Um, and we thank them all, and we thank all the artists who are, are here and in the audience. Um, in this beautiful school, a school that has been so incredibly generous to us as Haifa, and we're very grateful. It's a place of learning and development of creative minds. Um, there is artistic activity happening all around us today as we prepare for this festival. We're ready to unveil a new statement of intent as Zimbabweans and as people who care about Haifa. We gather today to celebrate, but also to acknowledge our responsibility and achievement. We invite you and our whole much loved audience and supporters to live their lives in the arts this week, to think and act even more than usual with imagination, with vision, with empathy, with generosity, with kindness, with determination, during Haifa and far beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, let's truly count this week.